Hello everybody, this is Lazy Ray Finkel, bringing you another Natural State mini-doc. Now, you've no doubt heard about the Occupy Wall Street movement and how it has spread to other states across the country. Well, Arkansas was no exception. On October 16th, I attended the Occupy Little Rock movement to learn and see what this rally was all about. Unfortunately, I arrived late and missed the walk from the river market to the Capitol, and to top all that off, I got to the Capitol just as the group was leaving. But I did make sure to talk to a few folks on the way back to the amphitheater. Now, I know everybody's got questions for the occupiers. What is the goal? Who is this for? Who goes to these protests? Who or what are you protesting? Chances are, you're going to get a different answer every time you ask somebody. Now, I know there's manifestos out there, some of them real, some of them not, but I was more curious to know what the marchers themselves had to say. Fortunately, I recognized a couple of friendly faces in the crowd, one of them belonging to a fellow actor and comedian, Michael Brown. Uh, we're here, we're uh, occupying Little Rock, it's great, uh, honestly, this is a, a huge turnout, it's fantastic, it's about the 99% that doesn't have a voice in government, it's the 99% that got our voices taken away in government, it's been replaced by corporations, it's been re replaced by corporate greens, we're in, our votes don't count, you guys, they don't, they seriously don't, here's what happened. The corporations turn out to be people. They contribute campaign donations. They run the election. When did this start? When did this happen? I want my vote to count, don't you? So let's get out here and let's march and protest. You're the 99%. Whoever you are watching this, you're the 99%. You're the reason why we're out here. Thank you. What is the Occupy movement about? Well, I guess at the simplest, it's people frustrated and people who are, of course, frustrated. And it doesn't matter what side you're on. We've got conservatives, we've got liberals, we've got Republicans, Democrats, Independents, Tea Party. It doesn't matter. This is this is an organization and this is a movement that is the face of everybody who does not just get money but has to work for it. Mm -hmm. And if we're getting the shaft, then this is deserved. The target. I, I, I guess, I, like I was just talking to somebody about, is it individual banks? Is it the government? Is it everybody? Well, it's hard to say. They're all human beings as well. But there are, I, I guess it's anybody who does not look at us on the same way we look at them. It's mm -hmm. not, it, it, there, there is this, this break. And I don't want to call it class warfare because that's such a buzzword and that's been used a lot for division. Mm -hmm. And this isn't, this shouldn't be divisionary. But there is, uh, a, there is a border that is being made. Hi, how long you been out here? All day? All day! Having heard this, is this movement as divided as some people say it is? Well, not really. Everyone seems to be in agreement over protesting social and economic inequality, corporate greed, and corporate influence in politics. While I have read about encampments splitting over whether or not to draft a manifesto, keep in mind, the people are still out there. They haven't stopped. And I don't think they're gonna stop anytime soon. GAH! A Silent Hill monster! Oh wait, that's me. And yes, I am aware about the concerns regarding sanitation and police brutality. I can say this from my own observations. While I did find some litter on the way back to my truck, protesters were encouraged to clean up after themselves. Once again, take a look around, make sure there's no garbage around. This land is your land, this land is my land, so on and so forth. Some even going so far as to pick up any random piece of garbage they found in the streets. And to be honest with you, those streets look good by the time they were done. This is history, man. The police were informed about the protest, gave escort, and were incredibly relaxed about the whole thing. Truthfully, everyone was. No trouble was raised. No one was provoked. Neat and orderly. That's how Arkansas rolls. The first phase of the occupation ended at the amphitheater, with a general assembly to be held at the main library to follow. For anything done. Yeah, stay up. Try and stay out of the street. Don't obstruct. We, we don't want to get. the library. Information is good. Well said, flower child. We made an assumption that everyone here is either thirsty or hungry. We want to give you some time to do that. Maybe about an hour. We we're thinking about 2 o'clock meeting back up at the library. Now, I do have to give these guys a shout out for making sure that everyone there was well fed and hydrated. Thank you to everybody who provided water to our fellow brothers and sisters. Thank you to everybody. And 
now is the time to start coming out with solutions. No more of, oh, this is wrong and this is wrong. we got to come out with solutions or people aren't going to take us serious. That's right, buddy. Yeah. That's all i got to say. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I will now leave by saying thank you for watching and thanks to everyone that gave me an interview. This is Lazy Ray Fingal. I hope you tune in next time for the next Natural State Mini Doc. Be safe. Be well. That's what we started with. That is by all means what we should end with.